guys, welcome to treadmillreviews.com. I'm Raleigh and today we are gonna be reviewing the NordaTrack X22i treadmill. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to our channel so you can check out all of our latest videos. There are so many things that we love about this treadmill. It has really impressive cushioning, an excellent construction, and a large range of incline and decline. Whether you're just a recreational walker or um, a serious athlete, we really think you're gonna enjoy it. There's some new features in the 2021 model and we're gonna show you all of the pros and cons. Let's dive in. So this is a really impressive machine. It's made out of steel. It's very, very sturdy. The dimensions of it, 70 inches long, 40 inches wide, and about 72 inches tall. It does not fold, so that's something to consider if you are using it in your house that you'll need a dedicated space for it. It has a weight capacity of 300 pounds, which is a little bit lower than expected compared to other treadmills on the market that are around 350, but because of its impressive incline and decline, it sort of makes sense why it has the weight capacity that it has. It's equipped with a 4.0 CHP motor, which is really, really powerful. It's gonna be long lasting. It's gonna be able to withstand all of the workouts that you're doing. It has a really small deck cover, which we like, especially if you're gonna be using this at a high incline, you'll be able to have enough room to walk on it without your feet hitting that deck cover. The running surface on the X22i is really comfortable and nice. It's 22 inches wide and 60 inches long. Like I was saying, the incline and decline is something that's really impressive on this treadmill compared to others on the market. It goes from a negative six decline all the way up to a 40% incline. In order to move the X22i, you'll want to grab onto the crossbar that's located on the back underneath the belt, and you'll just lift it up. Once you've lifted it, there's two wheels up in front that will connect with the floor and you'll be able to slide it back and forth wherever you want to move it. Something that's new in the 2021 model is something that's called their Quiet Drive Incline Tech, which basically just means that that incline and decline motor is much more quiet and it responds more quickly. There's multiple grip stations on this. There's some on the side, up at the top for the manual sled push mode, and then a crossbar here. Finally, there is a 10-year frame warranty, two-year parts, and one year labor warranty on this machine. Okay, let's get into some of the features of the NordaTrack X22i. So it does come equipped with a 22 inch HD touch screen. This year in 2021, they improved processor cooling, which basically means that you're gonna get improved graphics out of the screen. So it's really nice, crisp, clear, easy to use. It has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, and this year they improved the speed of the Wi-Fi to connect quicker, um, and they also included wireless headphone connection for your Bluetooth. So now you can connect to wireless headphones, heart rate monitor, as well as connect your mobile device so that you can listen to your own music through the speakers. The speakers are really nice and loud. The fans are awesome as well. They do pivot and tilt based on your height. Um, and they work super, super well. It has a couple of water bottle holders as well as a mobile device holder here, and everything stays in place really nicely since this is such a sturdy frame and build. The max speed on this machine is 12 miles per hour, um, and you can do that down at the bottom. There's a, a plus or minus, or you can use the one touch buttons up here on the side to increase your incline and your speed. So now we're gonna take a look at iFit. Um, it does have one year included membership once you've bought the treadmill. So this is your home screen. You can see there's a workout of the day. Usually it'll tell you what type of workout it is, um, what you'll need for it. Sometimes it'll say beginner, advanced. You can also save any workouts that you liked to your collection there. Um, so there's lots of different things that you can do. You can see your total time and distance that you've done for the week which is nice. Um, and then you can also browse here down at the bottom all of the different workouts that they have from walking, jogging, strength training, um, 
anything on the treadmill, off the treadmill. There's just hundreds and hundreds of workouts that you can choose from. You can also click live down here at the bottom and see what classes are going on live. And then you can also click challenges and join in any virtual challenges along the way. Also, if you click on this create button here down at the bottom, it will pull up Google Maps and you'll be able to create your own courses in real life and the incline and decline will match the terrain of the workout that you choose. And then finally, it has a manual start. So if you just wanna get on and run, click manual start and it'll show just a track for you and you can create your own incline and decline and speeds. Okay, we're gonna jump into the performance of the X22i. How does it sound? How's it, how does it feel? We wanna show it to you in real use. Um, like we were saying in the beginning, this treadmill is really gonna be good for recreational runners all the way up to athletes. Um, we specifically love the cushioning on this machine, so I wanted to show you what that looks and sounds like first. If you, are, if you have joint pain or if you're recovering from an injury, this is gonna be really a cushiony ride. So I'm gonna start walking and then I'll go all the way up to a sprint. The next piece that we really love about the X22i is the incline and decline ranges. So I wanted to show you what that actually looks like in use. So I'm gonna go all the way down to negative six first and then all the way up to 40 so that you can see that range. So this is it going down first. So this is negative six. Um, there's lots of benefits to incline and decline training. Decline training is gonna be good if you're training for a run. It's gonna put more workload, more pressure on your knees and joints so that you can build strength and get used to running um, downhill. And then I'm gonna put it all the way up to 40. And as it's going there, there's benefits to incline training. So first, it's gonna activate more muscle groups. Um, so that's gonna be a really good strength training workout without actually having to lift any weights. I'm gonna hold on to these higher handlebars. Also, incline training is gonna in increase your heart rate and it's gonna help you burn more calories um, without that impact of running. All right, I think we're up to 40. So there really are so many different workouts and things that you can do on this workout with the incline decline with all of the features on iFit. There's also 50 onboarding workouts on there as well. And then another feature that they have is the manual sled push mode. So I'm gonna show you that now. What you're gonna do is you just start your treadmill and you're gonna set it at one mile per hour. And then you can hang on to these sled grip um, handlebars. And then all you're gonna do is manually push that treadmill. And as you can see, it's pretty difficult. So I'm really engaging my arms, my legs, my glutes, um, and it just provides more variety for your workouts. Thanks so much for watching this video today. I'm Raleigh and this is the NordaTrack X22i. Here at Treadmill Reviews, we rate products based off of three categories, main specs, features, and build quality. And out of those things, we are gonna give this treadmill a full five out of five stars. 
Really the only negatives that we found were it's a little bit higher in price and it doesn't fold, but if those aren't an issue for you, we really love the impressive cushioning, um, the wide range of incline and decline that it offers and it's excellent construction. For more information, check out our website at treadmillreviews.com. For pricing, click that link below and of course, please like and subscribe.